Hey guys, so one of the things I think that um, comes with looking at a couple of black boxes of different machines is what what is good motor noise? Like what is well, no no motor motor noise is good motor noise, but um, what is a good target to shoot for for vibration levels for what your gyro is seeing? Um, there's a lot that needs to be done nowadays with soft mounting because the uh, newest gyros on these flight controllers are very sensitive, more sensitive than F1 boards and F3s. The F4s and F7s are even more sensitive to any vibration or noise. So uh, although more sensitivity sounds like a good thing, it, it, it uh, results in some bad behaviors to the quads. So I recommend definitely soft mounting. Um, and I initially started soft mounting my motors, but uh, in this recent build, I did, I soft mounted my gyro, or my uh, flight controller, which essentially is the gyro. Um, and I gotta say, it's awesome how little noise I have. Now, I don't know if other people can reproduce the same, but I wanted to show, uh, it may seem like I'm bragging a little bit, but it, you know, I just stumbled across this, and I'm just amazed by how little noise my gyro is seeing from this quad. So let me just pull up a picture of this. This is no fancy quad. It's a Martian II frame. Um, you know, it's an Omnibus F. Now it's an F3 board. It's not an F4, so maybe on an F4 it's a little harder to achieve. But um, and then you can see these little soft mount rubber grommets. Uh, you can get them from Banggood if you just uh, search for damp name or ReadyMade RC. These are ReadyMade RC ones. Um, I saw a Bardwell video and he was saying they're they seemed a little softer. Uh, I can't speak for the, the Banggood ones to see if they're just as good or not. I haven't used those, but I know these seem to be amazing. Now, obviously, I've paid attention to making sure that the, no wires and whatnot are tight on here to to uh, transfer vibration. These straps don't hit there, uh, and so on and so forth. You want to try to have that flight controller isolated, but you can see you know, this quad ain't nothing that special. Um, these motors are, I even have this shaft back here is bent and so is this one. These are both bent shafts. Um, but they run fine. Honestly, these motors are from a race, an Ishin Racer 250. These are King Kong props. No balanced. You know, I didn't balance them or anything myself. I just take them out of the box. And then this is just a, uh, a Martian frame, Martian 2 frame. So I think you could build this whole thing for buck 25. Buck fifty at the most, you know, you start throwing the BTX and you know, I do have a boxier camera set, so, you know, it's forty bucks by itself, that kind of stuff. Uh, these are um, twenty amp uh, Racer Star ESCs. Again, nothing super special here. Um, so let's let's take a look at this in the black box. So what I have here is my RC commands up top. I have my raw gyro noise, no filtering whatsoever is what this trace is up here. And then I have my gyro. Here, so this is all post, and I know these are a little offset, but that's just how it has to be. You can look right here. Uh, this is the gyro, so this is after all filtering. Um, the filters I have applied, uh, as you can see here in my um, raw trace or my gyro trace, I'll just hit the raw on uh, the pitch access and show this up. So this is the oh, amateur hour here. Um, do that again. Not to hit this button. There we go. So this is the raw gyro noise I'm seeing. Click on the raw. The pitch access. Uh, the, the filters I have on, I'm talking about in a second. It doesn't matter. I'm looking at the raw noise. That's the raw noise. It, even if I crank up the exaggeration on the y axis all the way to the top, just to give you a sense, that's it. Uh, I can look at the uh, roll access here and see that it's it's much to the same, you know, hardly any noise, and then the Z access. So if you haven't thought soft mounted your flight controller, I, re I highly recommend doing it. I don't have the uh, motors soft mounted, I just have the flight controller. Um, you know, I could be getting something lucky here with the frame, and obviously these motors aren't the most powerful motors in the world, so that probably has to do with it as well. But uh, the thing flies great. Uh, it's not the most powerful machine on the planet, but I also 
don't shoot through batteries left and right either. So it, it seems like a good uh, good mix. Um, if I, you know, the filters that I'm running on this uh, at this point are just the uh, gyro low pass filter and the D turn low pass filter, and then the dynamic notch on Betaflight 3.2.1, and that's it. I'm considering even turning off the D turn low pass filter. Maybe even the dynamic filter. I don't know. The only thing I'm concerned about is, you know, if I ding a prop or whatever, then next thing I know, I smoke a motor because I have no filtering on whatsoever. But the the um, obviously the soft mounts are a filter in themselves. They're a mechanical filter instead of a soft software filter. So uh, there is filtering no matter what I do. Um, so, anyways. Check that out. That was it. You can kind of get an idea for motor traces. Um, you know, for here, uh, just a little uh, review too. I, I like this graph setup if you're working in the black box. And, you know, to each their own as well. But just here's kind of just my thoughts on how things run down. You know, here's the commands I'm inputting. Um, here is my raw gyro noise, my filtered gyro noise, then my error. So the error is the difference between what I'm asking for and what's actually occurring. So you can see I'm getting some error here. So what is that error? Well, I'm asking for the quad to produce a roll rate of 389 degrees per second, but I'm getting a higher roll rate, which is 529 degrees per second. So that's 140 degrees per second differential. So why am I getting a... I'm getting a faster roll rate than I'm actually asking for. Um, it's most likely I do have um, a D set point weight set to 0.5, so that accelerates the, the craft movement. Um, but that's okay. You know, I can always turn down my roll rate if I'm getting higher than I want it to be. So that, that works for me. Um, so that's the error. So to compensate for that error, the motors are, this is the uh, PIDs. Um, you know, if you go into, this is the sum of the PIDs, the P. I and D, so it's that for pitch, roll, and yaw. So you can see my motors are spinning up in the opposite direction. So these are this air is on above the line, the motors are spinning below the line. So that means it's trying to compensate. You can see that means those motors here on the far side uh, of the craft here are spinning up to compensate for that. They it works and they slow it down. Um, my air becomes less, and then uh, you know, I continue through the move, and then as I go to exit the move, you can see right here, now my motors, you know, as I'm starting to now come down off my roll rate, now my motors spin up even more, because it's adjusting for that error, to uh, spin up these two motors on the right-hand side. You can see that. As I'm coming out of the move, these motors are spinning up on the right-hand side of the craft to stop the roll. You can see I didn't exactly stop there, level, but nevertheless, uh, no, no degradation of points for my flying skills so far. Uh, anyways, so that's just a little tidbit on maybe some way to set up your black box uh, log traces if you're trying to, to look at different things. Um, the RC interpolation and having all your RC commands smoothed out I think also helps a lot. You can see um, you know, what I would say is a nice, clean gyro trace and log. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and upload this, and you guys can download it yourself and take a look at it. It's just a real simple flight where I went out, did a, yeah, mostly a lot of hovering, uh, did a couple moves, and uh, I think it was one roll move and maybe a little punch here. But, um, you know, I have a bunch of other logs if you want any of them, I don't care, uh, with a bunch of punch outs and doing some testing and things of that nature. So. Uh, Again, thanks. Hope this helps and it gives some sort of baseline of maybe what a target would be uh, if you're trying to say, you know, what what is a lot of noise? What what is a good uh, low noise level? To me, this is honestly this is the lowest I've seen from any of the logs I've ever looked at. I'm not saying I've looked at the most in anybody ever out there, but I've looked at a good amount of logs at this point from different people and. Uh, uh, this is one of the cleanest traces I've seen. So, uh, again, thanks. Hope this helps. See you.